In this video, I will be making a game only using free assets inside of Unreal Engine 5. And if you don't already know, Epic Games gives away three free asset packs every single month. And my goal for this video is to make a game using these free asset packs that you see here. And the special rule is I can use any other asset pack so long as it is free. And I have to create this game in under 24 hours. Also, if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to create this game, make sure that you subscribe and like the video. And also let me know down in the comments if that's a video you'd like to see. So over this month, we got this Triple A Dragon Temple Pack, which features this high quality, super detailed fantasy cathedral sort of building. And the next pack was this Ancient Ruins Pack, which has sort of like this ancient Mayan ruins. And then finally, the last free pack was this Fantasy Creatures Pack. This asset pack is super cool. It has all these 21 different creatures that are fully animated and are stylized, hand painted. It kind of reminds me of the World of Warcraft style or some sort of RPG game. So I had to figure out what type of game I wanted to make based on all of the different assets that we got this month. And after seeing this fantasy creatures pack, the gears started to spin in my brain and I decided why not try making a open world RPG game and I have to do so within 24 hours. Because why not make the challenge a little bit harder? I mean, this creature could actually be some sort of mount and there are tons of other different creatures that I could use as different NPC mobs that the player can fight in the world. And before we get any further on into the video, I want to quickly tell you about our sponsor for this video. Have you ever dreamed of making your own video game? Are you tired of watching millions of YouTube tutorials that don't teach you anything? Well, I was in your same position many years ago, and so that's why I created the Ultimate Unreal Engine 5 Multiplayer Survival Game Course. This course will teach you step-by-step -step how to create a Steam multiplayer survival game inside of Unreal Engine 5 from complete scratch. You'll learn how to create a drag-and-drop inventory system, a crafting system where you can craft different types of tools and items. We'll create a harvesting system and gathering system where you can can chop down trees, you can mine rocks and pick bushes. We'll add a complete building system where you can build a base and a raiding and clans or tribe system so you can raid other players. We'll even add this open world map and show you how to host the game on a server on Amazon Web Services. This course is jam packed with over 250 course lectures and over 70 plus hours of content to help you get started on your game development journey in Unreal Engine 5. And I made this course because it was extremely hard to get into game development because there was no course like this that shows you start to finish what it takes to make a game. You can pick up the course right now on my website smartpoly.teachable.com or click the top link in the description below. You can get the course right now with a big discount. The price of the course will be raised later on and you don't want to miss out on this limited time offer. So take your game development skills to the next level and check out the course link in the description below. So the very first thing that I needed to do was get the character model and since I was going to make use of the stylized creatures I wanted my character to fit that same style that sort of looks like cartoony and stylized so I found this free RPG game template on fab which is this free stylized character model so I yoinked these assets and added them to my project and set up the simple run and idle animations so yeah this is what I got right now I can basically run around and that's pretty much it I also added a sword to the character's hand and this thing looks cool I mean it actually glows when you walk up to the dark right over here but the next thing I needed to add was different attacks and luckily the project that I stole this character model from came with attack animations that already had all the sounds, all the particle effects, everything pre-set up. So all I had to do was add the logic to play that attack animation whenever you clicked on the attack button or the left mouse button. So yeah, this is our basic attack system. Basically there's four or five different attacks. So we have the spin move attack, the sword, lightning bolt slam. We have, you know, our basic jab. And we also have this cool Spartan kick attack. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We have all the FX and sounds already set up so didn't have to do any extra work this literally couldn't be any easier my next task was to set up the enemy ai i basically needed some enemies to fight so i got this boar model from the stylized characters pack i basically set up this as the enemy character okay so right now it can't do anything it's just standing still in the level so we need to obviously add some logic for this boar to randomly roam across the map okay so now it can walk around and i also added this random color variations for the boar so we'll actually spawn in different colors each time and of course my next task was actually get the boar to attack and chase the player when I run up to it so I added this pawn sensing component which is basically like a sphere around the boar that if the player gets close the boar will start chasing and attacking us okay so, oh my god I actually need to change the speed of this so yeah now the boar actually chases the player but I decided I wanted to add sprinting to my character so we could outrun it so I added this super fast sprint I'm literally just zooming across a map I mean look at the run animation on this character he's 
just holding the blade with his left hand. My next task, I had to set up damage logic to my character's attack ability so I could actually damage the boars. So I added this sphere trace that will apply damage if I hit something and also this launch character. So basically whenever we attack something, it will get flung across the map. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. Bro, you can literally just Spartan kick the boars. And that guy just flung across the map. Wait, wait, check this out. Okay, so maybe the attack is a little OP, so I think I'm going to have to tweak that a bit, but I'm actually going to keep that in the game because it's pretty fun to fling the enemy characters, just launch them across the map. So the next thing I set up was a simple health bar above the boar's head so I could actually see how much damage I was applying to them. Can't even actually kill any of them. Every time I try to hit them, they just get flung out of the map. So after setting up the health bar, I added death and ragdoll. So when you kill the enemy, they ragdoll on the ground. And at this point, my game was starting to look pretty good, like your average rpg game i mean currently my game has a character that has this sonic sprint across the map we have different boars that we can attack so logically the next thing i wanted to add was a flying mount that the player could ride on and luckily the stylized creatures pack came with this flying eagle and i thought it'd be pretty cool if you could just fly around on the map on this mount so i set up all the animations and added it to my character so basically when i press the x key that will actually mount up my character okay guys so look what i got right here we're mounted here we're flying right underneath the eagle it kind of looks like I'm the eagle's next snack. It's carrying me like I'm a fish. I should just keep it like this in the game. So yeah, this is what the final mount system looks like. Check this out. So let's go ahead and fight the boars real quick. Boom, let's just get out of here. Yeah, so we can just mount and fly away. Of course, in, you know, World of Warcraft, you will probably wouldn't be able to do something like this because you probably can mount and fly away from combat during, like, PvP, but I thought I'd be cool to add this feature anyways. So after the mount was finished, I decided to add more enemy creatures, so I added this basic spider creature, which has the exact same logic as the boar. So we can just slice through these enemies real quick. And with all of our enemies and the mount system, the character set up. The last thing that was left for me to do was to create some sort of map for us to slap everything in. So I created a new level and imported this custom open world terrain and I used some free assets that I found on fab like this hand painted stylized kit to texture the landscape and add things like trees and grass. So yeah now we can just fly around the map and this actually looks pretty cool but obviously we still need to decorate our level so I added some different buildings, different props and I also added the wild boars and spiders AI into our level. So yeah here we are in the the game guys this is the actual gameplay so yeah let's run up to this boar real quick and attack it fling that guy up oh we can actually just spartan kick look at that but the attack actually flings it and the ragdoll is actually so cool so yeah let's kill this guy real quick oh he's chasing me let's swing him back and now we got both of these guys aggroed but check this out i can just mount the way easy we can just fly off real quick but let's attack these spin move Ooh, the ragdoll on that guy we can just spartan kick too attack animations are so fluid as well okay so we just took those guys out there's three more boars over here let's go and get these guys as well we just set that guy flying i wish i added some sort of like loot system where we could loot the creatures but yeah let's go ahead and spartan kick this guy and slam this guy like the slam move it's like a finisher almost i've got to say the spartan kick is one of my favorite attacks but yeah let's just mount up over here and i think if we fly over here there's some spider creatures so let's Go ahead and land and take these guys out. And we can send these guys flying as well. Uh, let's actually aggro this one and have it chase us. Oh god, I have two of them on me. Let's do the slam move. That's actually so satisfying seeing them just get launched in the air like that. But yeah, these guys have ragdoll. Let's finish this guy off real quick. And there's another one. Let's mount up and just fly over here. The mount system honestly feels like you're playing like an MMO or something like that. And we just finished that guy off. So let's mount up over here. And I'll show you guys some of the rest of the level here. I didn't really get to add anything else. So it's kind of just an empty open world map. But as you can see, it's pretty massive. It spans a pretty large area that the player can travel. So maybe I can add more different buildings more different towns and more enemy creatures in the map maybe i can save that for another video but yeah let me know what you guys think about the game down in the comments down below this is what i was able to create in under 24 hours just using some free assets that were available to me let me know what you guys think about the game down in the comments down below what different things should i have added or maybe what things could i add to the game let me know down in the comments also if you guys are interested in seeing a tutorial on how to create this game don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on the video and if you guys want to learn how to make your own games in unreal engine if you want to start your game development journey 
journey, check out my multiplayer survival game course on my website on smartpoly.tshirple.com or check the link in the description below. And that's pretty much it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.